Okay, here we are at 1732 Harvest Cove here in Winter Park, Florida in Seminole County. This is a three bed, two bath, 1500 square foot home. I'll give you a quick tour. It's in a nice little cul-de-sac here at the end. Uh, you got a little, here on the left side, you've got kind of a little pullover area with a shed, nice white vinyl fence. So you've got some room to store stuff. Two car garage, yard, stuff like that. Needs a little love. Doesn't look like anyone's been really here taking care of it. So it's a little bit overgrown. So here we are walking the main living room. Uh, nice uh, vaulted ceilings. This home was built in 1987, so someone definitely came in and added the knockdown, painted. Um, the vinyl flooring in here, uh, it, it all needs to go. It's just separating and moving a little bit, but again, that's nothing hard to get done. But again, here's the living space. Right over here, a little dining room off the back, plantation shutters. It's got nice new double pane windows right here, which is really nice to add in that nice light dining room. Here is your kitchen. Walk in over here, add a little bit more light in here. Now these are all new windows, which is really great. We can just see some of the flooring kind of right there. You can tell just it's either gotten wet or it just was a, not a very expensive vinyl that they put in when they did it. A nice granite top. You've got wood cabinets. You got these black Samsung appliances, which is really nice. You've got kind of like a little eat-in area right here as well. Here we go to your two-car garage where your uh, washing machine is. Let's see the HVAC. It is, looks to be an 07 unit. Just a little bit on the old side, but it does look good. I've right, got a general electric, uh, electrical box here, which is good. Water heater and plumbing that I can see looks to be copper. Next, so kind of all your living space, kitchen stuff like that's on the left. Right here again by the front door is your two bedrooms. So here's bedroom number one. And then bedroom number two over here has got a much different floor, really much nicer floor compared to what they have in the living spaces in the other bedroom. And again, having those brand new windows is a really, really nice touch. And then we go over here to bathroom number one. Nice stand shower. Really nice uh, tile here in the bathroom. You can tell they got that all done. Someone's been up updated recently. And you've got kind of a clear glass door here for that bedroom one. They probably may have used as an office, but all the doors are nice hard wood, which is really nice. They're not the cheap hollow core doors or anything like that. And as we walk back towards where the pool is, we'll cut here to the master. Get a little bit different of a flooring here as well, but the vaulted ceilings continue into here. To get the light on here, excuse me. So again, you can tell that they did an update here in this bathroom as well. Nice vaulted ceilings, huge garden tub and shower. There's your shower rod that would go across right there. And then you have this converted porch space right here that is under air. 
So this is almost like a Four Seasons room. Um, it actually feels really comfortable out here. It's not hot. You've got the glass window slider. So when it's nice outside, open those things up. Hanging out outside, open those things up. And here we'll go out to the pool. Nice large space right over here to the left, all concrete with a storage shed for additional stuff. Again, the, uh, the plants and stuff are overgrown. It just, someone hasn't been out here taking care of it, obviously. Here's your pool deck. It does have the pre-drilled holes for the pool fence. Pool surface, from what I can see, looks really good. You've got stairs over here, a little sitting bar there, more stairs on that side. Really nice grass space over there. Wood fence on the far side and then vinyl all the way around. You got a nice Patriots and a Bucks fan over there, so that's good. But yeah, really good space out here.